Hello everyone and welcome to another Unity tutorial. This one was requested by one of my subscribers, uh, so I decided to end the week with it. Now uh, here we are in Unity, and this is our basic scene. I'll just delete this because we don't need this. And uh, to fade in and out from scene, from scene, we'll be using a UI image, at least for today. Uh, so let me go to game object and create new canvas. So we'll be needing this, and then new image UI image. Uh, as you can see, uh, our image is way too uh, way too small right now. It should cover the screen, but it doesn't. So we will change that uh, by by changing the width and height in the inspector. Oh, let me change the width to 1920 and uh, height to and this covers our screen. So uh, first let's change the color to black and as you can see here uh, only uh, when we change color, our color to black only A from the color values is uh, on the uh, on the right so it's uh, maxed out. So uh, we'll, we'll be actually changing the A value to change the transparency as you can see here and uh, this is what we'll be doing today. We'll be changing the A value uh, from the script, not manually. Uh, the first thing we'll do, we'll take a look at our script. Uh, so this is our script. Uh, if you don't have it, you can download it. Uh, the link is in the description. Copy it and paste it in your JavaScript file. Name it whatever you want to and you have your script. Uh, in our script we have uh, three variables and two basic lines of code. A variable pick is our UI image. We need to declare that to tell Unity that we'll be using a UI image from our UI elements. Now uh, in the function fixed update uh, we are add we're, we are adding difference uh, from uh, actually let's make uh, let's make it fade in uh, first, so we'll be changing that to minus one to minus, and uh, if fade is less than zero, then fade to zero. So what I did here is basically uh, we are taking a difference from from our fade float. So our fade float uh, number equals one, and we are taking the difference uh, and multiplying this with time to delta time to make it smoother and slower at the same time. Uh, and then if fade is less than zero, fade equals to zero. So don't, we don't go to negative numbers. And uh, pick.color.a equals, equals fade, uh, which means that uh, from our picture we'll be using a uh, color value and uh, we'll be changing it with this line over here with fade. And this two fade and difference are just floats we're using in this line. So I'll uh, just say this fail, say refresh, go to image and change this to positive and drag fade in out over here uh, on in the inspector of our image and and drag the image to our pick. And if you play the scene it fades in. As you can see it looks pretty okay. Now the next thing we'll do is uh, create a fade out effect. So for this we need to go to color on our image script and uh, bring it all the way down to zero. Uh, then we need to change the fade to zero and we leave this as it is. Uh, we go back to our fade in out script and uh, we are adding the difference now so just the opposite action as from when we are fading in and if fade is more than one then fade equals one okay that's actually everything we need to do so file save the script and now it should work. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know why it's not working. Uh, I didn't refresh the assets, maybe. And uh, that was it. Now it uh, fades out of the scene, perfect. Uh, but if we want to trigger that, because fading out is actually uh, at the end of the scene and we have to tell Unity when the scene ends, uh, we're going to make a simple script. So create JavaScript and just a simple behavior. Let's name it simple even. And uh, double click to open it up in Mono Develop. And uh, here it is our script. Which is going to delete the function start and fragment strict over there. And uh, we're going to start this by creating a new variable. Variable. Let's call it variable script. And uh, we'll, we'll be uh, switching off and on our uh, fade in out script. So uh, let's Type fade in out in here and in function update we'll be uh, turning on our fade in out script. So for this we'll just type a simple line of code script dot we'll be getting a uh, fade in out component from our script object so We'll just type in here fade so for this fade in out close our brackets and uh, dot n equals true but we don't make much with this it will uh, enable it right at the beginning so we need to tell to tell uh, Unity when to enable it, and for this purpose, we'll just enable it with our when we press our left mouse button. So, uh, if uh, input dot get mouse So if we, if we press our left mouse button, oh sorry, this should be with capitals. Get, if we press our left mouse button, then our script will uh, get uh, then we will get fade in and out from our script object, and we will enable it. Let's close this up with our curly brackets, and I think it should work. Uh, hopefully, there are no typos in it. Uh, no typos. Great. Uh, let's just create an object that will be controlling this from create empty and uh, drop the in the inspector our simple script and uh, drop our image on fade in fade out and we'll be disabling it for now. And if we play the scene, nothing happens. But when we press the left mouse button, we can fade out from our scene. And this was all for today guys. <coughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, have a nice remain remaining of the weekend, although it's almost over here in Slovenia. But hopefully uh, you are a few hours back, so yeah, I don't know why I said it, this. Sorry. Uh, have an awesome day. <laughs> Bye.